Hello, hello, lads and girls, and welcome to brand new series. Life is strange. I seen uh, Vintage Beef play a little bit of this. I haven't watched mm, like many Let's Player do this. And I mean, it's a game where the choices you do have an influence on what's happening. So let's just get started here. I think this is gonna be a cool game to do a let's play off. And I'm starting with chapter one of course. So I'm gonna play through all these. Mm. Vibrating control. <laughs> I'm playing with an Xbox controller, so Hi girl. Okay, now I can control the character. Cool. Whoa, the graphics in this game. It's pretty cool though. Okay, I'm here. Holy shit. Whoa. Is that a tornado? It's like huge. Whoa. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography. Sleeping in class, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a right, photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Why Arbus? Because oh. of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I haven't kept up with my Seriously, journal no. as much as I should. I can frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a That's moment a of desperation. I've looked at. And any one of you could do I that. I can't to believe me. I still have this pencil case. I should Isn't upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. What if Arbus chose to capture I do love my analog camera. Their beauty or innocence. Hmm. I should take a Let's quick take picture a now. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <laughs> has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. 
You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean yeah. process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Oh, okay, now now I'm in control, now I can do stuff. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Sure her don't. school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow. A camera that costs... Five thousand three hundred bucks. That is expensive. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell again. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Let's take a shot then. Out there in the world, now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel uh, How do I look at the photos? I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? <laughs> uh, I don't have any. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life <laughs> won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Huh. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't That's wait to watch some cool. more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome to the cute. real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture chatting class. Okay, so we are in a school. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. Putting on some music. Okay. Relaxing. Taking it all chill and stuff. Okay. Life is strange. Hello, Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Huh? I love that picture of mom and dad. That is Hello, very dad. pixely. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. American girls, huh. I'd like to. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. 
They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Okay, so I wonder where am I supposed to go? Huh, bathroom? Okay, let's go in here then. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Yeah, no one can see your meltdown. <laughs> uh. Now who would bother to write that crap? Oh, that is not nice. Rachel Amber is a B. <laughs> uh, let's use the faucet. Hey, I thought I saw something on the mirror there. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Hey, don't don't do that. Oh, a butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I hate Victoria Case. Look Whoa, at the butterfly. Where did that butterfly come from? Yeah. It doesn't look like Outside. any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Why is there a dude it's in here? <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Uh, you're crazy, man. You're freaking crazy. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know- Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick! He has a gun. to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, he shot her. What the? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? How? How can that be? Uh, yeah, I know she's reversing time, but still, he that looked hell a lot cooler here when I, I see it for myself. My hand, and then I was back here. Yeah, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already world. heard this lecture. Yeah. From light to shadow. You're back in time. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's uh. phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition. Oh, I broke my camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Okay, uh, left trigger. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. Whoa, <laughs> that is freaking cool. Love it. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Let's take that selfie. We have already looked Jefferson at everything else, so. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. Okay, this game feels so good. <laughs> the point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Now I should know the name. Uh, why do I get... I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. <laughs> we can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Can I? Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Rewind and tell him the right answer. What if I rewind again? And give him the right answer. Yeah, exactly what I said. <laughs> Come on, rewind. Almost there. Oh, there. Bro, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Okay. How about Daguerre these? process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Thank you. <laughs> the Daguerrean process Still their glory, Victoria. was hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Mm -hmm. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo That's in the Everyday Heroes contest. That. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a yeah, career yeah, yeah, in photography. Yeah. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to Can't see skip. me. Max, you're not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's go to the bathroom, Maxie. You still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, damn it. I'd never let one of photography's future stars skip. I'm not sure uh, yeah, if I have one. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I'm gonna get you a pic here. What? Oh! So I can just make one little press and it will take me back to... Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars of... What's this? I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you. Now I can get going to the bathroom. To save that girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh. I have to get my education on. Oh, uh, right trigger to move faster. Yo, Daniel, don't even tease. Remember that you know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Come on, okay, get in. Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. Yes. I shredded my photo. Then the 
butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Mm hmm. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Hey, fire alarm. Come on, put that Ever thing down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass with this. Oh, there's a hammer. Get away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can help her. Okay, um, here we go. Miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Hammer. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Ah, <sighs> we saved her. Oh, God. Another shitty day. Uh, better hide a gun. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? You're a hero, Max. Freak. You're out. a real hero. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? Yeah, I'm on my way. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Oh, uh, what Thank a you, deuce. Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Can I like thank him? Speak. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm. We can stop that alarm now. About my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, let's tell him the truth. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is... Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. He doesn't believe me, does he? This academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? L let's try it at least. See what will happen. Okay, so you let's speak to him. Stressed out. Are you uh, okay? Yeah, we can skip this. Uh, hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Now it's like he's blaming me Please. instead. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. 
I think we're gonna if go we with the Nathan. And actually tell him the truth. You look a little. Uh, let's report Nathan. Just Man. saw Nathan. Skip, skip. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Let's get out of here. Blackwell Academy. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Okay, I think I'm gonna end off this first episode there. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!